Hi there, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. If you're a golf fan, chances are you've probably seen one of these mystery captive golf balls and said, how in the world did they get the golf ball into this wooden cage? Today I'm going to show you so you can make a gift like this for your golfing buddies. For this project, you're going to want a piece of one and three quarter by one and three quarter piece of wood stock. I happen to have this piece of maple that's that exact dimension here in the shop. I'm just going to run it through the planer to surface the edges a little bit, and then we'll cut it to size and start the drilling process. I'm now going to measure out five inches in length and we'll go ahead and make the cut on the miter saw. The next step is to draw a line down the center of this block which in this case, it's one and three quarter inches, so it's gonna be seven eighths of an inch. And we'll draw a line down the center here. When I drill this piece of wood, I'm gonna use a one and one quarter inch Forstner bit. Now the radius of a one and one quarter inch Forstner bit is gonna be five eighths of an inch. I want three quarters of an inch on either end, so we're going to measure down one and three eighths of an inch. And this is going to serve as the center point for where we're going to start our drilling. I'm going to do the same thing here on the other end. Now we'll bring it over to the drill press and make sure that we have the bit centered here and here and we'll create a stop on either end. So I've got the one and a quarter inch drill bit in the press here. And what I'm gonna do is create two breaks on either end to match the one and three eighths inch mark that I made on either side. So we know exactly where to start and exactly where to finish our series of holes in this blank. I've also gone ahead and put a piece of wood here just to create a buffer from between the bottom of the blank and the table here so I don't destroy the bit or the bottom of the table. So we'll get our safety gear on and we'll start drilling. I'm just gonna use a clamp here so that we keep everything stable and in place. Okay, now I'm just gonna simply flip this over and repeat the process. Okay, so we have the rough cage drilled out. I'm now gonna use a sanding attachment on this press just to smooth out um, these holes here. In fact, I'll probably run it through one more time uh, just to see if I can knock down some of these sharper peaks before running it through the sander.
I've attached a one inch drum sanding attachment to the drill press. So now what I'll do is plunge the um, drum sander and run back and forth just to smooth out all of these rough edges. Next thing I'm gonna do is wrap a piece of 220 grit sandpaper around this piece of wood and do a little sanding by hand. So now you may be saying, are we gonna get this golf ball inside this trap? Let me show you. I bring a pot of water just to the point of boiling, turn the heat off, and then submerge the cage that we just built for 10 minutes before removing. And I weight it down with a uh, measuring cup full of water to keep the cage submerged. With the wood thoroughly softened, I just use some moderate pressure to push the golf ball between the bars of the cage. The wood has now had time to thoroughly dry, but because we submerged this in water in the previous step, the moisture caused the grain to rise, and when grain rises, it creates a very rough texture and feel. So I knocked the grain back down using some 220 grit sandpaper, and now it has that smooth feel and appearance again. The final step will be to coat it in some food grade mineral oil and we'll be done. And here's our captive golf ball. Stump all your friends with your clever craftsmanship. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.